Hello, hello, it's Mr. John. Today I have 12 food idioms with meanings and examples. Are you ready? Number one, smart cookie. Smart cookie. This means someone is a smart person, an intelligent person. For example, Clark is a smart cookie. He got 100% on all his tests last semester. Ooh, what a smart cookie. Clark is a smart cookie. He got 100% on all his tests last semester. Okay, smart cookie, an intelligent person. Number two, to spice things up. To spice things up. This means to make things more exciting. Make things more exciting. For example, Sarah spiced things up by hanging Van Gogh paintings in her bedroom. Sarah spiced things up by hanging Van Gogh paintings in her bedroom. Number three, spill the beans, to spill the beans. This means to reveal a secret, to let it out, right? To spill the beans, to let the secret come out. For example, who spilled the beans about mom's birthday party? Who spilled the beans about mom's birthday party? So there you see someone let the secret out. Someone spilled the beans and told the secret about mom's surprise birthday party. So now it's not a surprise. Number four, take the cake, take the cake. This means to be especially good or outstanding. Especially good or outstanding, to take the cake. For example, his pitching takes the cake. It's the best in the league. His pitching takes the cake. It's the best in the league. Number five, number five, take with a grain of salt. Take with a grain of salt. This means that you don't believe it is completely accurate. Don't fully believe it. For example, you should take whatever you read in the news with a grain of salt. You should take whatever you read in the news with a grain of salt. Don't completely believe it. It's not maybe completely accurate, okay? To take with a grain of salt. Number six, number six. Put all your eggs in one basket. To put all your eggs in one basket. This means you rely on one thing. You put all your trust or all your money, all your investment into one thing or one company. So for example, he invested all his money in one company. If he puts all his eggs in one basket, he may lose all his money if the company fails. He invested all his money in one company. And if he puts all his eggs in one basket, he may lose all his money if the company fails. And number seven, number seven, that's my cup of tea, my cup of tea. This is what you like, your style. It's enjoyable for you. What you like, your style, and what's enjoyable for you. For example, musicals aren't my cup of tea. I prefer regular movies. Ah, so regular movies are his cup of tea. Musicals aren't my cup of tea. I prefer regular movies. What's your cup of tea? All right, on a different subject or topic. Number eight, number eight to make from scratch, to make from scratch. This means you make something from the very beginning with the original ingredients. You make something from the very beginning with the original ingredients. For example, my wife made a delicious pizza from scratch. My wife made a delicious pizza from scratch. Mm. Number nine, number nine, the pot calling the kettle black. The pot calling the kettle black. This means to hypocritically criticize. To hypocritically criti criticize. So, for example, the tobacco company says donuts aren't healthy. That's like the pot calling the kettle black. The tobacco company said donuts aren't healthy. That's like the pot calling the kettle black. Right? They're both black. Which one's blacker? Number 10, number 10, to have your cake and eat it too. To have your cake and eat it too. This is like you want more than you need and you, you want something you can't necessarily have. You, wanna, you want one thing, but you want a different result. 
For example, Frank is married, but he wants to date other women. He wants to have his cake and eat it too. Right. No, no, Frank, that's, that's not gonna work, right? Frank is married, but he also wants to date other women. So he wants to have his cake and eat it too. He wants to, he wants too much. He wants more than he needs. Number 11, heard it through the grapevine. Heard it through the grapevine. This means to hear a rumor. So you hear the rumor from other people, right? And it comes to you. You hear it through the grapevine. For example, I heard through the grapevine that Kelly is getting nose surgery tomorrow. I heard through the grapevine that Kelly is getting nose surgery tomorrow. Number 12, number 12. In a nutshell, in a nutshell. This means to sum up, to sum up. So to sum everything up and say simply, in a nutshell. For example, in a nutshell, she is sick because she drank too much alcohol last night. In a nutshell, she is sick because she drank too much alcohol last night. And in a nutshell, that's it for today. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.